Hello everyone, you are most welcome to today's session. It's been a while, but I'm glad to meet you again. Um, my name is Ivan Hajusu. And as usual, I teach English. Uh, it's nice being with you today. All right. Uh, if you are, if you have been keen enough and been following the the subsequent series that we've been delivering on word classes or word categories, you realize that we have we have we have gone a mile. We are not the same as we began, and so. Uh, today is just a continuation from where we have, where we stopped the previous time that we handled a certain particular type of words. And if I'm to remember quite well, we talked about pronouns. And I wonder if you still remember what a pronoun is. Dear friend, if you didn't know, I could remind you very quickly, as I refer to the previous video, a pronoun is a word used in the place of a noun. Well, that's for that. If you don't mind, you can, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to at our academic, so you can get all these in full. Today we will talk about another class of words, and it's none other than the conjunctions. Okay, so somebody is there, and you will ask yourself what a conjunction is. Well, uh, simply put, we will say a conjunction is a word used to join words, phrases, or even sentences. I could not forget about clauses as well. So that's what a conjunction is. It is a word used to join. Think about another word that you can use in order to show that something is joined. Okay? If you look at this gesture that I'm doing, this right, um, right, could you say arm or palm? Sure. This right palm together with my left palm, and I would like to, we say this is to join. So if you bring this, which is separate from this, and then you put them together, okay, you have joined them. If you don't want to say you have joined, you could say you have connected. There is a connection all together. So a conjunction is a word used to connect. Well, if you don't want to say connect, there is another word that you can use and it is nothing but to link. A link between words. A link between sentences. A link between phrases or between clauses is nothing but a conjunction. Let me just put it down quickly. We say a conjunction used to join, to join words. To join words, you can say phrases, uh, just to be a little clear, phrases, uh, clauses, clauses, or sentences, or sentences. Well, dear friend, if you are able to define a conjunction, then you would have gone a mile in understanding the kind of word that you select in order to communicate effectively. So if you want to join a word, if you want to join phrases, if you want to join a clause, think no further than a conjunction. Well, we can get ourselves some examples here and there. Okay, so an example of a conjunction, a word used to link, and then after getting them, we can be able to maybe probably create one or two sentences in order to, yeah, to see how applicable it is and why we say it joins. Well, we can say, we will start with words. We can say, uh, uh, we're looking at a word, we will say, <clears throat> food. Food is a word, it's a noun, thanks. Food, food, and, and, water. Good. When we say food and, and water, this is a noun because it names something. This is equally a noun because it names something. However, today we are focusing on a conjunction and we're saying and is a conjunction. Food and water. Noun, noun, conjunction. It's important, dear friend. A conjunction is a word that is used to join other words. 
So, and clearly here is an example of a conjunction. Now, if you have done that, you are good to go. Slowly but surely, if you start, I would like to compare it to maybe a baby. If at all, for example, you have just been born, at the end of the day, you'll start to maybe try to sit. And then after that, the baby will have to crawl. And after crawling, they will start to try and stand. And despite the fact that they may fall down, at the end of the day, if they are uh, not very scared, they will surely walk. So it's a walk of mazes, slowly but surely. If you know that and is a conjunction, you're talking about words, and you join them, any act of joining, you are using a conjunction. Okay. Um, apart from this, we can look at another example of a conjunction. We'll talk about maybe, uh, we'll look at uh, and, that's good, and number one. Number two, we could say, uh, but, hello, ever heard about but? I believe so, but, yes. <laughs> if, if I may request, try to sit down and think about the word but. Is, is, is the situation in which you use but the same as and, for instance, let's say uh, we will create now a, a sentence straight away. For, for, the, for the other definitions, we can see how guests can come about them. But, okay, let's get a sentence. I, I, I would like to eat food, food, but I am not hungry. Good. So this is our sentence as a matter of fact. If you say, I would like to eat food, one sentence. Even if you just stop at this, it makes sense. So it's a complete sentence. However, we are bringing in another idea. I say, but I am not hungry. That's another idea. Now, if you have two ideas and they can stand on their own, Say one is here and another is here, and you would like to link them. You would like to connect them. The best thing you're going to use is a conjunction. But is a conjunction. So, dear friends, today we have another example of a conjunction. But. All right, I would like to thank you. Apart from but, we are going to look at something else. Uh, before we look at another example, probably, of, 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 of a conjunction, we we'll look at... Uh, how similar these two are. We are saying and, food and water as our first example. If you don't want to use and, you could say plus. Okay, simple. You could put that plus sign there. Food plus water. I need some food plus water. In my opinion, when you use plus as a matter of fact, you would realize that it is playing the role of a conjunction and that in a way qualifies it to be so. So, this, uh, I would like to call them almost positives because there is agreement. There is some bit of addition. Okay? There is some bit of agreement. That's the most important thing. Food and water. There is some bit of agreement. If I'm to, in, in, in a layman's way, say, we would maybe go by that. Agreement. Food plus. You know, when you add something, there is agreement. Food plus water. However, in our second example here, there's, very, there's a very clear cut uh, difference. We would like to call it a contrast. There is a difference, not the same. Idea number one, I would like to eat. I would like to eat. And if you really want to eat, it means you are hungry. However, hey, now that's another example. Thank you. All right. Example number three, however. However is equally a conjunction as a matter of fact. Instead of using but, I have chosen to use however. I would like to eat. However, I am not hungry. But, I am not hungry. But and however are conjunctions of contrast. They show a difference between two scenarios or two words. Okay? Maybe we could say, he is but, uh, I, I don't know whether that is okay, but let's go by that. He is, um, he is rich, but, 
very kind. As a matter of fact, you could be rich and want to be proud and so on and so forth. Rich but very kind. And that's a very good compliment. Surely, if you are that kind of person, big ups to you. I would like to thank you. So dear friends, as far as we are concerned today, we can only just recap very quickly. Say conjunction, a word used to join word, a, a word used to join, to link, to connect other words, sentences, phrases, and clauses. And then we look at some examples here. If you are able to listen very carefully and follow, I believe you will be on the right track. I would like to thank you and pray that you move on well. See you again. Till next time.